The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. The time has now come for us all to do more. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. But in this fight, we can be in no doubt that each and every one of us is directly enlisted. Each and every one of us is now obliged to join together, to halt the spread of this disease, to protect our NHS and to save many, many thousands of lives. Sometimes you know that you've got a good photo and it's cool. Some, sometimes you might have to check because you've got to get your exposure and your levels right. But then sometimes, sometimes you take a bad photo, but generally if, if you kind of know what you're doing with a camera, you shouldn't really have to worry about it too much. The less time you spend mulling over what you've done in the moment, the more time you're going to spend being out there and get, trying to get more photos, really. The first week of lockdown, um, and I was just traveling through the city, and it, that was weird because there was just a, a crazy um, energy of like uncertainty everywhere you went and it was more prevalent on the underground because I, I suppose it's quite a claustrophobic environment and it kind of exacerbated how everyone was feeling. There's a real sense of kind of fear and, and unknown. It was more surreal just seeing it and being in it rather than letting, like personally for me, rather than letting any kind of fear and dread setting, I, was, I just, I was out there to just kind of experience it and make the most of it. Um, but I'm sure for a lot of other people it was a bit more of a frightful situation. But it was, you know, apocalyptic, <laughs> to put it as one word. I mean, I don't see like 90% of the people that actually live on my road, I never see them, I guess, because I'm not in like your typical nine to five routine. Um, so it's it quite amazing to see suddenly that everyone's lights on and everyone emerging from their windows and everyone clapping. It was a pretty, pretty amazing experience. Quite fun at first. It was kind of like a novelty thing, really. I, I like the idea of it, but it'd be better if um, we didn't have to do that and the NHS um, was properly funded and they could, you know, So I'm on my bike, I'm moving fairly quick throughout the city and then I will, I just kind of keep my wits about me and then stop. If I see something interesting, I'll jump off, lock my bike and just kind of go for it. Um, or sometimes if you've got like interest in uh, shadows and light, you can stay in one position and wait for like a subject to kind of come past. Um, so there's a few of those in there, but mostly um, I'm, I kind of, if I see something interesting, I'll just capture it and jump straight back on my bike and get out of there, really. I don't want to hang around. There was a, a, quite a few people like me that were out just capturing the streets because it's pretty rare that you could ever get a photo like that um, in normal day-to-day -day life. And then there was a lot of police to start off with and then mainly just homeless people, really, that were kind of left who didn't really have anywhere to go. And a lot of that's kind of, is glossed over in, in normal day-to-day -day life, and I think lockdown. It just removed everything. 
you know, it's like blowing off the dust and then what's left is kind of the reality of the lives of a lot of people and it's, it's, not, it's not very pretty. But just because it's not pretty doesn't mean it shouldn't be um, captured. How are you, mate? Yeah. You okay? Same. No, no change still. But there's a good news. The, the big issue is back on Monday. Oh, cool. You know, that's, that's good news, bro. I got the photo for you. Did you? Do you want it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. It was a double exposed, so yeah, it let you see it. It mixed over with this other one, and I thought it was really yeah. cool, so I wanted you to have it. Oh, man, thank you. It's all right. It's perfect. Yeah, I man. I like it. I like it. Maybe I, you can... I fucking do like it, actually. Yeah. It's going to be in the biggest room like this, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Well, but yeah, it's yours, man. I know it's mine, but the, the copy of it is going to be there. Oh, you're going to put it in? Oh, yeah. Nice. We'll make some money. No, that's not funny. No, famous. <laughs> no, that's so good. Do you need anything? Yeah, a million pounds. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I just arrived now. I'm just arrived now. Somebody gave me some drinks. I'm good. Okay, cool. I'm good, thank you. Yeah, man. Uh, no, you gave me what I needed today. Cool. Yeah, I'm really going to put it back, actually. Yeah, man. Because All right. I don't, I don't smash it. My brother. Cool, man. What's your name? Jimmy, Jimmy. Eddie, innit? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I you no worries, man. Yeah, man. That's really cool. No problem. Right. See you around. It's kind of like writing a song. If you write a song and you actually manage to do it and it's what, it's what was in your head and you can get it out and play it and it becomes a thing, it's very rewarding. And it's the same thing with taking a photo, I guess. I always take kind of like uh, mental photos in my head all the time of things that I see when I don't have a camera. And that's what I've done years before I even bought one. Um, so to see it in front of you is, is pretty amazing.